Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Good to be back with you here at 6. Nice tight shot by Centennial Tower. You can kind of see the misty drizzle around the area. As you got pretty good visibility there to uh, Presque Isle and our Kerr's Tire Corner Cam. So this rain is not heavy, but every bit of it is valued because of uh, what's been going on in about, oh, the past month and a half as far as lack of rainfall is concerned. So light rain, drizzle, showers, whatever you want to call it, pressing through Erie and Crawford and heading on into Warren. Then you notice a break here, and we'll back it up a little bit. Another area here, which is weakening with sunset coming, had some uh, thunder and lightning south and southwest of uh, Cleveland there. And as you back it up a little bit further, you can kind of see the flavor of the forecast. You get areas of showers, you get breaks, you have more areas of showers. But there, if you add it all up, there's plenty of rain-free weather as we go through the week. So we'll take what we can get. And Erie almost made it to 60, but the Lake Breeze held it at 59 today. After a, a pretty typically normal start for a low in Erie at this time of year of 36 degrees. And you can see one one-hundredth of an inch of rain uh, in the last hour. The other thing we were showing you on Weather 101 for farming as well as, you know, brush fire, burning interests, uh, all of Erie, Crawford, Northern Venango, much of Warren and Chautauqua in what's called a moderate drought situation. So definitely could use some more rain. We will have shower chances almost every day, but as we said, there'll be plenty of rain-free weather. Uh, temperatures will be mainly above normal again, 60s with some 70s as we go through a very spring-like week. So a little bit of lake breeze, Doc Tom Miller, Niagara Pier at 47, Bill and Corey down to 55. As we go into Crawford County, uh, Mr. Anderson over in Richmond Township, 56. Rain cooled air coming this way towards Titusville and heading this way towards Kathy and Youngsville at 61. Bob and Kitty in Cooperstown at 63. So the thing to be reminded of here as far as it not raining every day all the time, low dew points and low relative humidities. We sneak out some storms or showers along this warm front in the next couple of days, but once we get on this side of it, it gets warmer. So let me show you how that happens. And you can see the blotches of green here. They're around, but much of the time, they're not over top of us. So this warm front slowly but surely spits out some precipitation as it moves towards the area. And as you see it redevelop, you can see the red streamers here. So eventually, we'll get behind it. We'll get some warmer temperatures. And then later, we'll get some more showers. Let's uh, show you the forecast. Jet pinpoint for Erie and the Lakeshore tonight. Chance of showers, you're already getting some of that. Maybe a rumble of evening thunder, but drying out as we go through the night. Uh, 45 for a low in Erie. Similar southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, and Venango. You've got some showers right now. Could hear a rumble of thunder, 42 to 45, but plenty of times overnight when it's not raining, as it will be in Chautauqua, Forest, Warren, McKean counties, in the mountains tonight. Showers possible at times, some late night fog and 39 to th or 36 to 39. A lot of sun to start, maybe some showers later. Plenty of dry time tomorrow, mid to upper 60s. Another round of showers tomorrow night, very mild, 47 to 50. And then you got a chance in the afternoon of Thursday, but a lot of rain-free weather. Look at that high, 75 degrees. Best day of the weekend looks like Saturday, maybe a little bit cooler on Sunday, but as we said, off and on showers most of the time, turning out dry over the next seven days. Check out that forecast 24 hours a day on the weather page at yourerie.com. Sean?